So this is a tutorial on how a Playfair cipher works. The first step is to choose a keyword. The only stipulation with the word you choose is it cannot contain any repeating letters. Now I know what you're thinking, it'd be very nice to be able to choose a word like swimming. Well if you really love that word, then you can just delete any repeating letters. So swimming would become swimminge. The second M and the second I have been deleted. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I will use the keyword pencil. So after you have chosen a keyword, the next step is to put that keyword into a 5x5 five five square along with the rest of the letters in the alphabet. So you combine the I and the J into one box, and the table will look something like this. As you can see, I started in the top left corner with P, and then filled in the rest of the row with letters in pencil. I combined my I square with J. After my L, I started with the first letter in the alphabet that I had not used, which is A, and continued until my square was full. The next step is to prepare your plain text. So let's say we wanted to send the message, she is funny. Well, I guess we didn't want anybody to know she was funny, that's why we're doing this. So first we separate the letters into digraphs. And as you can see, the two N's in funny have been separated with an X. And since my Y was by itself at the end of the message, I simply placed an X at the end. Now my message is ready for enciphering. There are three possibilities that we can run into while using this cipher. Both letters in the digraph are in the same row in the 5x5 five five table I created. Both letters are in, the, in the digraph are in the same column in the 5x5 five five table I created. And both letters in the digraph are neither in the same row nor the same column. Let me give you an example of each. If both letters are in the same row, simply replace each letter with a letter to the immediate right. If there's no letter to the right, like for F, for example, I would just use the letter at the start of the row, which in that case is L. So let's say we wanted to encipher the digraph LD. First highlight L, and then highlight D. The letters are in the same row, so replace L with the letter which is to the right, which is A, and replace D with the letter which is right, which is F. This means that the plain text digraph enciphers to the ciphertext digraph AF. If both letters in the plain text digraph are in the same column, then replace each letter with the letter which is directly beneath. Let's say we wanted to decipher the plain text digraph AW. First highlight the A, then highlight the W. These letters are in the same column, so replace A with the letter which is underneath, which is H. Since W has no letters beneath it, we circle back to the top of the column. W becomes E. The plain text digraph AW enciphers to the ciphertext digraph HE. So let's look at the di plain text digraph RD. Highlight the R and then highlight the D. R and D are in the, not in the same column or same row, so our first step is to draw a box around R and D with R and D in opposite corners. Then we look at the letters in the same row but on the other corner of the box. R becomes T, D becomes A. So RD becomes TA. So looking at our plain text message from earlier, she is funny, we first look at the digraph SH, highlight the S and highlight the H. They are not in the same row or column, so draw a box around it, and the S will become R, and the H will become K. So the plain text digraph SH becomes RK. Next we have the plain text digraph EI, highlight the E, and then highlight the I. E and I are in the same row, so we replace them with the letters to the right. E becomes N, and I circles back to the beginning of the row and becomes P. So the plain text digraph E, I becomes N, P. Next we have the plain text digraph S, F. Highlight S and highlight F. They are not in the same row or column, so draw a box around them, around the S and F. S will become U, and F will become B. So FS becomes UB. The plain text digraph UN comes next. Highlight the U and then highlight the N. They're not in the same row or column, so draw a box around them. U becomes S, N becomes IJ. 
either one, it doesn't matter, but I'll pick I. So UN for me will become SI. And next we have the digraph XN, highlight the X, highlight the N, they're in the same column. So we're going to replace them with the letters to the bit right beneath them. X doesn't have a letter beneath it, so we'll circle back to the top. So X will become N, N goes to the letter that's beneath, which is B, N becomes B, so XN becomes NB. So finally we have the digraph YX, highlight the Y, highlight the X, they're in the same row. So we're going to move Y over to Z, and we're going to move X to Y. So YX will become ZY. Okay, so now we have enciphered each digraph. We put the digraphs together, giving us the final cipher text. Looks kind of crazy. Um, to decrypt the message, the receiver would just take the same table that we created and do the opposite of the rules which we have. So if a digraph is in the same row, then just use the letters to the left instead of to the right, or letters above instead of beneath, and so on. Thanks. See you later.